Hello and welcome back. This is the Let's Play series for The Search 2 Part 14. This is a blind playthrough on the PS4 and each episode of the series is continuing through to the end of the game. So we are... So we just got to Cloud Bar 9 and everyone is just having a party here. So I'm guessing we're going to have quite a bit of dialogue to go through in this episode. Um, so let's get to it. Let's go speak to some people, see what they're at. Uh, I bet they're all high on like drugs and stuff. Blue Spark. This guy's just loving it. Got some moves. That DJ can push my buttons anytime. Bow be a darling and bring me a sparkle teeny from the bar, then we'll talk. Sparkle teeny. They're just ingesting the drugs through uh, through drink. You following me around? I told you already. The monster belongs to me. Taking care of business. What's it look like? Me and my guys are just about to kill the beast swiftly and mercilessly. So don't even try to mess with us. All hell's breaking loose at Gideon's Rock. But don't cut me out yet. This battle's far from over. Taking care of business. What's it look? Me and my guys. So don't you all hell's Name's Black. Jordan Black. AKA the Huntress. Mess with me and it'll be the last name you ever hear. Alright, calm down. A good general always has to look at the big picture, kiddo. Can't do that when you're right in the middle of the action. I'm having a hard enough time coordinating my troops as it is. It's like my hunters have lost the plot. Once we're done with this job, I'm going to kick their asses from here to the bloody moon, but right now I've got bigger fish to fry. I told you before, the monster belongs to me, but if you go out there anyway, you're welcome to kick the other hunter's asses. Tell him Jordan sent you. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, well, looks a bit dodge. Sitting down at the pie, looking around. Next to the knee slapper. Alright. Here we go. Hey, you there, the blurry one. I'm so smashed, I can't keep my mouth shut. I just keep blabbing on and on and on and on. It's like a catch 20 something. Everything's going to hell. I can't switch my brain off no matter how hammered I get. I'm not even sure. Nothing makes sense. And my company got this contract with AID a couple days ago. Earned myself some big bucks. And all I had to do was find a bunch of sick kids and get them sent to AID command to have their defrag cured. It's just that, you know, I never heard back from any of them. And I just want to spend my cash and turn off my brain. <laughs> I gotta stop thinking about this thing. Oh wow, that's awesome. You're doing me a real solid. There's that old R&D facility right next to the evacuation camp. You just follow the smell of desperation and you'll find it. <laughs> I have bigger stuff going on in my world. Hey, you see that crazy chick over there? That's my sister. I haven't talked to her in two years. <laughs> Good riddance. Sorry, but you don't know my family. That's not gonna help. Um... Sister. Over there on the other side. Kind of like a metaphor, isn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna have to find out anyway. Mm, text scraps. Show to the DJ. Yo, what are you doing? Just walking into my inner sanctum. I don't even know if I can trust you. Tell me the password or get lost. Not funny. 
The fate of the world is at stake. Look for a scrappy ally at Seaside Court. After that, we'll talk. Well, looks like it's being sick of what is like rummaging through the trash. Um, are old. Rebooting OS. Ah, good day to you. I'm Harold. You seem to have caught me with my firewalls down. How embarrassing. I am in charge of scouting capable warriors willing to hunt down a massive creature at the artificial wildlife resort, Gideon's Rock. Please excuse the system malfunction. My network has been hacked. A mere human wouldn't comprehend. My master, Joan Gutenberg, has out of his mind with worry about Jericho City's night problem. He's been working 24-7 to find a way out. Whoever delivers the brain of the strange creature wreaking havoc at Gideon's Rock will be rewarded ample. I have already hired Miss Black and her jolly band of mercenaries over there. However, they have been ineffective so far, apart from stabbing each other in the back. Be warned, friend. If you don't succeed in your mission, the nanites will be unstoppable in no time. Even I won't be able to fight back much longer. Luckily, my existence is of no importance. I'm just a soulless automaton, after all. Slay the fiend and deliver its brain to the Creo Institute of Technology. That's all I ask. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my small talk routines are damaged. <sighs> I am a cloud-based silicon valet, operated at the Create Institute of Technology. I can download into different robotic host bodies. An external force is currently trying to compromise my system integrity. I don't know how much longer I will be able to fight back. Athena, how peculiar. My master had a grandchild by that very same name. She went missing after a... Oh, wait. Access denied. Excuse me, friend. I won't be able to divulge that information until my hacked databases are repaired. Good okay. luck out there, friend. Initiating recovery mode. So that's... Oh, that's just... Might as well do it now. Get it unlocked. Do freaking upgrade it. I still haven't put my points into anything. Uh, so we want implants. Can we have any? We can't do any implants just yet. Well, we can do some. But. Oh, I was gonna look at the weapons. We can upgrade all armor pieces, but I think we were trying to um, get the other set. So I need to make up a new set for grinding. That another time. A new face. Haven't seen one of those in a while. We have some quite intriguing guests at this party. Too rich to worry, too poor to leave. Not me, though. I'll be long gone when the proverbial shit hits the fan. A man of my caliber requires the most exquisite piece of armor available. Sadly, my previous supplier was brought down by his lofty ambitions and the tip of a hunter's blade. Guess nobody else has the guts to go out there and do what needs to be done. Okay, but it's not gonna be easy. 
Um, I should have told you before asking for help, shouldn't I? Don't worry. You'll do just fine. You know those gorgeous robot statues they have at Gideon's Rock? Their armor is simply impeccable. 24 carats of pure protection. Of course, you'd have to strip them for every single part. Mint condition. I think that goes without saying. Uh, I, I wasn't listening to that, what I was saying. Um, you fought in the mining wars, didn't you? Yeah, I know you're kind. Yes, I did. My little brother looked just like you when he signed up. He died almost 10 years ago to the day. Here, take this. It belonged to my kid brother. He'd want you to have it. Ah, oh, Angel. Six. Yeah. Um, what is it? So, set bonus for this increases energy gain while weeding any codename Creo weapon. Increases attack. Attack speed and impact while we're in a codename Creo weapon. Interesting. An eye patch. Uh, critical organ enhancer. While health is low, stamina, stamina regeneration and energy gain are increased. Um, peacekeeper. Staff. What well, began as one tough survivor's desperate self-defense tool has been heavily modified into a weapon reminiscent of military-grade crowd control implements. Uh, so we're going to grab this. Grab the, the weapon. I think I should get that. Get that. We have we've got a little bit left over. Let's grab that. Come cool. back if you find more parts. That stuff's worth its weight in gold. Any luck stripping those? Uh, I said I'm fan. I have such on pieces for you. Do I? Is Why it not? getting breezy in here, or are you a breath of fresh air? Come on, show me what you got. I do not. Come back if you find more parts. That stuff's worth its weight in gold. All right, let's, let's get a sparkle teeny from you. Oh, come on. Oh, so we got a, we got a sparkle teeny. Got some free scraps. Does this guy have anything else Any to like say? Stripping those statues? Uh, who I found so far? What I found so far? Tell me all about that one. Sure thing, buddy. <coughs> what do you need to know? Name's Highball. I'm just a humble barkeep with a heart of gold. Now all I need is the armor to go with it. Oh, that guy. I doubt this is the high point of his career. He's the only one at the party more grizzled than me. What? The actor, Kyle Baxter? He's a bit of a handful. Don't fall for his squeaky clean image. That guy's been in love with his own reflection for years. Fine woman, that one. We have a bit of history. Don't tell my wife, okay? That's a real robot? No kidding? I thought it was just another drunk cosplayer. He's a quiet one, that's for sure. But you know what they say. Silent, but deadly. We should keep an eye on him. Bundle of fun, eh? Can't stand her shtick. Oh, okay. So there's more people to speak to. <coughs> uh, whatever. When you get to my age, every day feels like the end of the world. 
Stay strong, handsome. Gideon's Rock is right behind the gate. There's a colossal, man-eating beast out there. And a lot of hunters playing war. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. Oh, Gerard, calm down. Where's the chick? Oh. Um. There was this guy as well, the bar. I know what you're about to ask, so hey. how about I just go ahead and save us both some time, eh? Yes, I really am Kyle Dexter. One, the only, the incomparable Iron Mouse. And no, despite my shredded torso, perfectly chiseled jawline, and brilliantly glistening teeth, I'm not really a superhero. I only played him in a movie. Oh, and yes, I am still on the dating market. Uh, pardon me? Of course you should know me. I'm Kyle Baxter. The Kyle Baxter. Don Hackett's Creo newsletter called me the last movie star. Are you trying to insult my artistic integrity? Because that's never worked. And don't try begging me for an autograph. I'm retired now. I never quit acting. Acting quit me. Those bastards at the studio replaced me with some smarmy AI dummy. Damn piece of scrap never even joined the actors union. They said it was because of my so-called drug problems and chronic paranoia. We both know they always had it in for me. Both. Obviously. If you want to find out more about the amazing adventures of Iron Mouse, TM, go to the comic book store in Fort Nixon. That's where I always wait for my fans. Uh, where my fans always wait for me. Remember, tough as iron, quiet as a mouse. But he, I can it. I did. I, I really like that expansion though that I, they brought out for the Surge one. It was a nice. Uh, yeah, there was a good chunk of gameplay there. Well worth the money. Huh? Oh, I'm not thirsty anymore. But OMG, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. The snacks at this party suck balls. I wouldn't finger this food for a million bucks. But man, am I starving. If this is really the end of the world, I want to pig out, goddammit. I need meat. Real meat. Special meat, you know? Awesome. Buy the prime meat at Penny's <laughs> Delicatessen, okay? It's Bye. the best butcher shop at Fort Nixon. That noise, who cares if the world ends? I'm rich as sin. Had a row with my brother. Whatever. Let that old stick in the mud salt for all I care. He cray cray. And maybe you should learn not to meddle in other people's affairs. Party time! Um, I'm still going to be able to get that me if I've done the quest. Uh, okay. I'm hungry AF. Did you get my snacks? Did you? Did you? F and finally. Oh, that was some good shit. Sorry, no leftovers. Thanks for the grub. Now for the next step. Getting drunk until I puke my guts off. Let's burn this mother down. Yeah, I'm full. That shit gets me going hardcore. And so you find out where it came from. Uh that's not gonna work, and is maybe it? You should learn not right. Party time! So, did that achieve anything? Uh, probably not. But we've got the next two pieces there. Uh, so we've got Gideon's Rock to go to, and Cargo Elevator. Oh, right. 
Sorry, this was just um oh, God, I still got these points to spend. Um So what's your points? You want more stone, but it's only three one two one two very small increases. Um five, two, nine, nine, two, four. When do we get more oh doing that? Okay, so we can work towards more battery or we can give ourselves a bit more survival in health. Um so that was was that a hundred? That's an extra hundred health for an extra battery. I am going to split it slightly, so I'm going to go for 500 health. And that, I think. Yeah, working towards them. Um, I do need more stamina, but it's not really a big increase. I think the next point, so I'll just, uh, I'll go for battery, battery and stamina. Um. Yeah, anyway, uh, so I'm just going to leave it here. So this was just a short video to get past all the dialogue. So if I'll mention it in my next video as well, if, you know, if anyone wanted to skip all that stuff, they could just go to the next video and carry on. Um, so thank you for watching this far. And if you'd like to show your support for the channel, please click the like and subscribe button at the bottom of this video. Um, I also stream three days of the week currently. Uh, so if you'd like to check me out on Twitch as well, there's also a link in the description where you can go to my page, see my schedule, and click the follow button if you'd like to be notified of when I go live. Thanks again, and hopefully you guys will join me in the next video. Take care.